So this is a PID controlled ping pong ball balance inspired by a electronics engineer and hacker in Spain goes by Electro Noobs but uh, if you have a uh, ping pong ball it's on a rail there's a IR sensor on one end of the rail a servo motor to control the position of the rail and if you displace the ping pong ball from the set point which at the right now is in the middle the rail will move up and down to try to maintain the set point. So if we move it we'll come back to the set point. The LED there in the middle is showing you the approximate location of the uh, set point. It's being driven by an Arduino. I have separate power supplies for the Arduino and for the servo motor because there's so much electrical noise from the servo motor that it was affecting the IR sensor. There's a lot of friction uh, or stiction, however you want to say it, between the ball and the rail, so the system isn't perfect and could probably be tuned a little better. But then there's also a manual control that we can use and if we turn on the manual control um, we can adjust the set point and you'll see the LED change and that changes the position of the set point it's not going to be exact because the resolution of the IR sensor is only by centimeters and the LEDs aren't exactly one centimeter apart. See, it does a relatively good job. And we can also turn on and off the proportional, integral, and derivative constants in the PID control software. So, for instance, if we turn off the derivative and the integral constants and just leave the proportional uh, on and we change the set point over to something and we get the ball moving a little bit um, we'll see it just oscillate a lot and it's not going to stop the derivative constant is what would keep it um, trying to stop at a given location so if we turn that derivative part back on We'll see it uh, do a better job trying to stop there in the middle. Now if we leave the proportional if we leave the proportional off and leave the derivative on, then all the controller is going to do is try to stop the velocity of the ball. The derivative, the derivative of the position is velocity. So it's going to try to maintain the derivative at zero, so it's going to try to keep the ball from moving, but it doesn't know how to move it back to its position. So that's why you need both. So this is really just a way to stop it at any given location. So we need the proportional and the derivative. Now if we get close, but we're not quite there, we turn the integral part on and that integrates the error over time and makes a correction. You can see it kind of creeping up a little bit. And because of the friction of the ball, it kind of overestimates. And we have adjustments on the proportional integral and derivative as well. So if we want, we can get the ball moving a little bit here. We can change the parameters. So we can increase the proportional uh, constant by quite a bit. And you'll see that we have too much 
proportional control it's oscillating too much so we'll turn that back down to something closer to the tuned value so you can play with the values uh, and adjust the values around the nominal set points that have been coded in in the firmware so we'll just put that back on auto and let it do its thing I had thought that I might continue this project and I very deliberately went with a uh, switches and potentiometers on this just because I like switches and potentiometers um, if I were going to do this project over and do another iteration I would go with a longer rail go to probably a 24 inch rail instead of an 18 inch rail I would look at using a different sensor something that has higher resolution uh, Adafruit has a couple of options that might work and I would either stick with the Arduino and use a processing interface so that we could just control have a replace the mechanical user interface with a GUI and then we, we could see the uh, parameters as they change there's no digital feedback uh, or digital readout for those controls right now or maybe use a Raspberry Pi with a touch screen and put a GUI on it but I think I've learned about as much as I'm going to learn from this setup and I'm not sure that I'm ready to undertake another round of this project just now so this will go on the shelf for a while until I'm ready to play with it again